Hello everyone, this is Jen and welcome to my channel. I'm here to show you my November setup. This is actually my homeschool. This is going to be for homeschooling for November. Um, I've played back and forth whether or not I wanted to add more or, you know, <laughs> I guess for viewing purposes, but this is a very simple setup because I'm using it for homeschool. So it's not very elaborate and there's not a lot I need to do to decorate and everything. So I decided to just keep it as is. So we're going to get started. So I'm using the Coco Daisy kit and here are my pockets. This was the cute little card from the November, one of the November kits. And then the charm from Mary Kay's shop uh, is Calibre Charms. It's an Etsy shop, so I can always leave the link below, but she had this cute little charm, so I ordered that and added that. So here, up here, I have some post-it notes or sticky notes that I got in two different kits. And then I added Simon. Betty is in my personal planner, so that's why you don't see her here. So this is also uh, my Webster's Pages. I think this is the... It's either neutral color, I think, natural color. It's like a cream color. It's hard to see it, but yeah. So that's what I'm using for this month because I thought it went well with this theme. And then here are just this, just some stickers. So now these stickers, I did not get the stickers from the sticker kit for November. I just decided I had so many stickers left over that I decided to use the August and then like these colors right here the from the October kit. I just decided to use those for the month so if I needed them and then these came from the November kit and you will see these used in my planner. And this is a five size. Okay, and here's the cover to the November planner, which the divider you always get, which it shows the month on one page. It's like a month in review. This right here is my dashboard that I created. So I used the paper in the kit, and these are just the sticky, some sticky notes. This is the card, I believe, from, yes, this is the card from the add-on kit. And all this is right here is one of the post-its that came in the November kit and I added some washi. So this is a very simple dashboard that I created. And then it's beautiful. On the back you have the leaves and if you notice, I even added a few little sticky notes as well. So this came in the classified kit and it's this cute little fox. So I wanted to show up, I wanted it to show up on the white. So in the back, um, I have this. So I I believe I um, mentioned what I do with this. Now this is my November in review. So at the end of the month, some of the main events that went on or some of the main things that went on for the month, I jot it down here. And then that way, if I need to go back in my planner, I don't have to flip through, you know, for the weeks or whatever. It's just... Is all listed here for important dates. So that's what that's used for. And then this is the paper clip that came in the memory keeping kit. I'm not sure exactly which one, but this came in the memory keeping kit. So here I just used some washi. I just marked off these dates because family is coming to visit. Uh, that's what I did there. So that week we probably won't do as much homework we'll probably, or do some homework in the morning and um, yeah, it's just a reminder to plan our days. Then here is the dashboard that came in the kit and I just added a card and this. This is actually came in the memory keeping kit. So what I did, I actually added tape in the back because if I want to reuse this card, then I can reuse it. So I just added some washi tape and also these little items. I added washi tape. I didn't want to make it permanent. 
just in case I want to use it on another project. And this is gonna be my daily to-do. So, oh, and this on the back, I actually used washi tape again because it's actually just white. So I experimented with my washi tape and did the washi tape dashboard. I also did this for October and I really, really enjoy doing this washi tape um, um, decorations, I guess we would say. So yeah, so let me go closer. So I, I debated if I was gonna just use this color washi tape, but I kind of wanted it more neutral because this did come in the November kit. But uh, I thought this would look good more, so I kind of just threw this color in in the middle and then added some silver that I received from past a past kit and then this these two washi tapes for the month. And I think it really came out cute. I actually like the idea of the washi tape um, like dashboard or dividers. So... Um, let me speed this up a little bit. So this paper clip that came in a memory keeping kit. And here, because the week starts on a Thursday, I decided to just use this right here, this week on one page. And then on the back, if I need to get more detail, then I can get more detail. And then I just threw my gratitude tracker because for the month of November, I want to make sure that every day, I write something that I'm grateful for in November. And even if it's not every day, I can make it up. So that's how I do sometimes, because sometimes we get busy and life happens. So just go back and make it up. So here I put a sticky note right here in case I need to write some notes or something for groceries or something like that. And then, yeah, so I don't know fully what I'm gonna do, but this is kind of like my overflow page if I need to jot some more to-dos down or whatever for our homeschooling. And then here is just the week on two pages. But what I did, I put in between the daily to-do pages. So then if I need more space, I can have more space. And then right here, I just kind of sketched like a quick four square to jot down some things that I need to do with my children. And um, yeah, just kind of like separate boxes and even a to-do for me, whatever. So I thought it was cool to be able to divide that up. Here, I put work on 8x8 album. I am doing a picture a day. So my goal is to try to do a, a page or a layout, something but it doesn't happen a day, but if I can work on it for 15 minutes a day, that will help as far as catching up and all that. So that's why that's there. And then even my devotion. And here, I'm trying to make it a habit because it's cooler. Uh, Mondays is chili and um, for lunch and then spaghetti for dinner are opposite. And then that way on Tuesday, since we have Juana, then we have leftovers. So I want to keep like a routine to keep things basic. And yeah, so that's why that is right there. And then once again, the daily to do. Okay. And then I put about um, us having family visiting. And then here with family during the weekend. And this is Veterans Day. So I put that sticker there. And then here, I this is where I added some of the little checklists. Now, I decided to take the back and go ahead and make these spaces. So I separated it with washi tape and I added these checklist boxes. So if I need to add more to it, so I kind of like makeshift did a week on two pages. And then here's my daily to do and then that's divided up again. Divide it up and then there we go with the tape again. Uh, and then this I added just a little washi tape to add a little bit of something at the bottom. Then once again, we're back on two pages, the original two pages. So yeah, create it. And to me that helps with waste because I don't always use these pages, 
So it's good, like, I mean, once again, it stretches it as well, but I think it's good if you can make use of your pages, however you can make use of them, then do what works. And then I still, once again, have all these daily to-do pages if I wanna add more detail. And then, and then it just keeps going on like that. And right here again. And here for notes. And then see, this is the last week already. So then I went back to a one page system because I know I'm not going to use a full like week on two pages for this when it's only for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And that's where this and the daily to do pages make up for extra space. And then here, my menu plan. Oh, I did a next month calendar. So this is very like basic. I just drew on the back a December calendar. These are the me and my big idea stickers. And then 2018. So if I need to write some notes for something we need to do for future planning in December, then I just jot it down here. And then I put as a reminder for January 1st, I want to start great, uh, Grace Laced, which is a um, biblical devotion, art, journaling type thing. So I probably uh, do a little introduction about that. So here, when we did, when we hadn't received the November printouts yet, I decided to go back to Coco Daisy's older printouts, and I printed this page out. So this is one of the free pages that is available. It is gorgeous. So. I mean, the colors coincide well. So once again, if you don't even have the kits or if you just wanted to get the actual planner pages, then you could actually print off the free pages as well and do things with that. So this is, I guess, kind of like my divider or my notes page for my mini plan. And then in, back, in the back, I was, I'm going to list which I didn't get to do before the video. Um, it's almost the first, so I wanted to get this out the way. But here, right here are the, um, the boxes, so I can just write in what I would like to, like some, some ideas, uh, fall ideal meal plans, almost like a bucket list. <laughs> so, and on the back I put the meal prep, so. Just prepping some meal recipes. And then here I can put the recipes that I want to use or a menu, um, maybe something I find on Pinterest or something, I don't know. And then this came in, actually my girls get the lollipop box and this went perfectly. They got this for their September kit. So I just used it myself and um, this will help to plan some meals for the week. So I'm using that. And then here are just my extra pages in the back. Oh, wait. These are my extra pages in the back right here. So if I need more daily to do pages or whatever. So I just decided to keep it in a planner for this month since I'm using a separate planner. And then I have this dashboard in here. And then here, um, for the year, I wanted to do a journaling. I want to do journal prompts um, for our homeschool year. And I haven't started that yet. So I'm thinking I'm going to decorate a few pages and put each day what we're thankful for. And these two pages will be filled of no, our, um, our family's notes of what we are thankful for. So I figured that would be nice to do prompts uh, so we can look back later and say, oh, look, you know what we did. So I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to take some prompts from offline and then, yeah, we'll, if you would like to see that, just let me know and I can uh, show you uh, how this is going to work for us. I know it's a blank page right now. But um, I do need to get started because it is almost November. I think we have two more days. So three more days. 29th. Okay. Two more days. <laughs> so after the 31st is the first. So that's what I want to do with that. And then this came. This was a 12 by 12 page that I had in my stash from last year. October's kit. So I just thought it was really cute. 
And that, and then that's it. Just my notepad and my alpha stickers. Uh, numbers are done. Days of the week are done. My pen gem, which I use a lot because a lot of the colors go with it. So I think it goes perfect. And then this stamp. I'm thinking about doing like some fun little stamping in between with the leaves and using my fall themed stamps. If I have time, if I don't, no worries. I just want this to be a very basic project because I am doing um, 30 days of being grateful plus a photo a day. So I hope you enjoyed this simple, uh, quick, uh, well, I'm going on 16 minutes, but this flip through. <laughs> and uh, if you have any questions, leave it below. Uh, if you would like to see more or have, um, yeah, if I went too fast, I don't know. Just let me know. But um, I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you enjoy my flip through. Sorry, that's our clock. So gotta go. Bye. <laughs>